I. So to copy the region to the global site, you need to first set the prefix of your global site. So by default, it's the region name, but you can change it. So if you go to the global site and uh, do the modify, you will see that uh, there's an option there where you can uh, change the prefix of your uh, region. Now that once that done, we can uh, copy all the shape from um, the region. But first, let's open the global site and go uh, uncheck run. And uh, what we want is create a new page so that we can paste the, uh, all the shapes from our region. So I'll do that and name it North Region, the same as my region. And then I uh, want to make sure that the width and eight of my region is the same as my region page. Uh, if you need to look at that, we'll look at that into a few seconds. Uh, if you want to know what it is in your region. So I will click on my region, open diagram for this, and then go to animation, the edit mode. I will go to um, view page properties to see uh, what's the width and height. Oh, that's the same. Perfect. I can click OK here and then go to a library update all link and shape because we want to make sure it's uh, up to date. Um, all the shapes are up to date when we copy them. And uh, the last thing is to select all the shape and then go back to edit and copy uh, all of them. Once done, I'm going back to my global site. And of course, I want to go to my new page, a North region page I did. So I will just click on the region here and click on show. I can move this one here and then I can paste it under the menu edit and paste. Now all my shapes are there, so I'm going to move them so it's properly aligned in my diagram. Perfect. Now, um, we need the uh, resolve biases function from uh, the region into the global site. So I will delete this just to make sure it's there. And I'll go to manager and drag the mandatory uh, animation component that's in the library in the Yukon feeder automation, not the RTM. Pay attention. Now I can do uh, exit in uh, VB. The VB, you need to go under module and AP object and then find the uh, alias into the declaration alias resolutions. And then uh, under the this line here, the alias resolution uh, uh, function, I'm just going to paste the content of the text file I received from Ethan over here. Now I'm just doing some alignment. It's not mandatory, but that's how I like to see it. So uh, here I'm going to put my region prefix, right? And I'm going to go under the uh, global site animation and do the resolve aliases. Now, as you can see, all my shape names change and I have my region prefix within the square bracket in front of all of them. Uh, and that's done. So you just uh, need to save. Uh, you will have some warnings, that's normal because VBA is not supported on the web, but it's just going to ignore it. So you just click no here for the warning on the reports. And uh, finally, I can run this diagram. It's going to work because all the points are already available. My region exists. There's a button to go back and forth in the diagram, but it's available in the web. Uh, you have uh, the option on the on the three bar menu here. You can click on any page and you'll see it. So I can show you that the status of my region will be refreshed. Right now it's uh, out of service. I'm going to start that and I have accelerated that a little bit so we don't uh, wait for anything here. So it's started. So you already see the automation is enabled. I have the correct status into the RTM.